Welcome to Dream TV. This is Dream Your Humble Host. Uh, yeah. Just got done watching No Mercy. And spoilers, the future spoilers. I uh, This is a review, complete review of No Mercy. I would have to say giving a rating to No Mercy was probably a B. Seen better, seen worse. B minus. Um, we're gonna start with the kickoff show. Um, I called most of these. Um, there's actually only three that I was wrong about. But um, kickoff show, Elias did win. Um, Paulo Cruz did give a entertaining match, but in the end, um, Elias being the the current favorite of the two, um, he won. Then we kicked off the actual No Mercy show with the Intercontinental title match between Miz and Jason Jordan. It was a very good match. Jason Jordan fought valiantly, fought wonderfully. However, he just could not beat The Miz, um, but it wasn't for the lack of trying. It was because the Miz Taraj interfered um, while the ref wasn't looking, and Jason Jordan came up just a little short. This is one where I thought Jason Jordan was going to win because of the whole storyline with his father and, you know, with one of the alleged father, whatever, Kurt Angle, that whole storyline. I thought maybe he would win it and keep the feud going. But now that, you know, Miz beat him, he said, I beat your boy. I don't need to fight him again. But, um, so, yeah, I would say that one was, it was a very good match. Um, I would give that one a B overall rating for that one, um, a grade. Probably even closer to maybe a B plus. Um... It was entertaining, it was exciting, pretty much the most of the way through. After that, we came to the Bray Wyatt Finn Balor match. Um, I was correct on this one. Um, Bray and Finn did a very wonderful job. Um, it was kind of a pointless storyline match. Um, he kept, you know, it's just man on man versus man, whatever. But, uh, like, like, Finn Balor actually needs the Demon to beat him, but it was a great match, and, uh, Finn Balor ended up getting a coup de gras to win the match. Um, hmm, I'd give it a B, B minus. Um, and the only reason why I do that is because the storyline wasn't interesting. I mean, not because the competitors, the storyline wasn't progressed or, I mean, or even had a real storyline um, that was entertaining enough to, I mean, if, if there was a great storyline with this, this would have been a, a match all the way, but no story. Okay, now, to me, the next match was one that almost stole the show. There was a lot of exciting moments in it. Um, this was the uh, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins versus Shamaro. Um, very, very good match. A a match all the way around. Um, so, uh, she, uh, Sheamus ended up getting hurt. Um, I. The replay looks like, you know, people were talking, and I, I, I looked at some of the stuff, and it looks like you know, maybe he knocked his tooth out or something like that, but he was bleeding heavily from the mouth. Um, at some some point, it kind of looked like he maybe not, wasn't going to get back in, but then he did, and it was a very interesting match, to say the least. Um, however, there wasn't much uh, to... 
there wasn't much dull moments, I guess I'd say, within the match. It was constantly entertaining. It, Like I said, it almost stole the show. Um, if on any other night, this could have been like the main event that could, you know, I'm at, I'm at, this was a main event style match for even WrestleMania to me. Um, it was really, really well done. And, uh, of course, uh, Dean and Shane, or Dean and Seth did win this match. Don't get me wrong. I, I called this one right. Um, so, uh, it'd be, it's going to be nice to see where they go from here. New challengers or, or what, because they've, they've kind of solidified them, themselves as won the titles from them. Um, start over type of thing. Next we have the women's match, the Fatal Five Way. I was wrong. I was wrong on this one. Um, this is one of the ones that caught me off guard. I thought that a returning Bailey would be the winning person in this match, and I was wrong. Bailey did not win this match. Matter of fact, Bailey is the one that got pinned. I also thought that uh, Emma was the one going to get pinned, and Emma didn't get pinned. Bailey did. However, the title did not change hands. Alexa did pin Bailey, but I was thinking, why would they bring Bailey back um, without you know maybe a, like kind of like a surprise thing? She's going to win the title, and then people are going to say it's unfair, and then she turns heel and says screw you. That that's where I was seeing this going. That's not where it went. That's not where it went at all. So, I'm sitting here going, okay, what would I give this? I mean, it was a decent match. Exciting. It's a C. I mean, there were much better matches throughout the night. Um... Yeah, no, I just, I couldn't get into this one, it, it just, there's too much, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's hard for me to say this, but there's too much storyline, um, I don't like saying that, but there was too much, there's too many moving pieces coming into this one, but, uh, yeah, Alexa did win that one by pinning, uh, Bailey. Next, we had a WrestleMania style main event: John Cena versus Roman Reigns. I called this one right. Roman won. I knew it was going to happen uh, because of the the things that I've said in my other video. Um, because John Cena is getting written off television. Um. John Cena is going to go start a movie. So he had to get out, you know, be written off of, of wrestling. And what better way than losing to Roman, which we are, which most of us out here already knew was going to happen. A lot of people were thinking, you know, were just wanting Roman to win or lose, but everybody knew Roman was going to win. I think this sets up a storyline for later. Um, but for now, it's a way to get him off TV. So John Cena lost. Excellent match. A A A A A A A A off the top. A A was going to go on to the tables, but then a spear, Superman's punch, spear. A A A A A A spear. It's just it was over and over. It was over. It's it just like finisher after finisher after finisher after finisher after finisher, and kick out after kick out after kick out. Until it was like, okay, well, we have to wrap this up. John, just take your fall. He got Superman punched and speared and just laid there. After the match, he raised Roman's hand. Um, like, I respect you now. You know, he didn't respect him before. Um, so Roman wins, wins this match. Um, I think it could have been better. 
uh, I would say probably a, a B plus, A minus type of match. Um, I know I'm probably going to get some heat for that, but I think I think if there was more, okay, like if John Cena wasn't getting written off TV, I could see where John Cena would win, then Roman would try to over conquer him, and I could see the the storyline there. How they did this, I is everybody knew it because John Cena had to go by. He had to leave. He has to leave. So everybody knew it was going to go on. So I was like, why, why ruin this type of match? I mean, when now now we all know it's going to happen. So I just didn't, I didn't understand the thought behind that one. But uh, Roman Reigns did win that one. So congratulations to Roman Reigns on that. Now. We come to probably the worst match of the night. I mean, even including the kickoff show. Um, Neville versus Enzo Amore. Uh, this was terrible. Enzo was beat up 99% of the match. He goes out and tries to steal the belt. Um, gets right in. The ref isn't looking. Kicks him. Kicks uh, Neville in the in the nuts, and then rolls him up and and makes the man's feet touch top of his head, and pins him and wins the title. Bad, all the way around. Neville did a great job being the heel. Enzo turning heel. Um, I just I don't know. I just it felt flat. It felt why would en- why Enzo wins the title when nobody else in the cruiserweight division can. I don't get it. Um, but Enzo won. That I was wrong on that one. But just because he beat. Just because he beat uh, Neville does not make Enzo the greatest wrestler in the world. Um, matter of fact, I still say that, that Enzo, Enzo needs to go back to NXT and learn more in-ring stuff. Um, but I still don't think he should have won a title. But he did. And now I've got to see where they go with this from here. Could it be like another Akira, uh, Akira Tozawa? Where he wins the title and gives it right back. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow Enzo has to defend it and he loses it. And then, then we're right back to where we were. But, uh, yeah. That that match, D minus. D minus. F, even. Um, so, then we come to the main event of the evening. And it was Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Brock Lesnar was manhandled almost the whole match. Um, he tried a suplex and was blocked. Power slam, power slam, man. and then, then finally he started getting his suplexes in. He did like four or five, something like that, and then uh, Tried an F5, got power, sl- got a running power slam, kicked out. Um, put the Camara lock, uh, Camara lock on him. That was that was interesting. I haven't seen that one in a while. Um, he was able to get loose of that by getting to the ropes. Um, went for a die, you know, shoulder block in the corner. Instead of going through and hitting the the ring post like all the other people, he just hit the the uh, ring buckles um, because he's kind of a bigger guy and I evidently couldn't get through him. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he uh, he got into the position where he got F5'd by Brock and that was it. Brock retains and Braun now has to go back and figure out what to do. That was actually a very interesting match. Um, I'd give it probably an A. So yeah, I, I think overall, I think the Dean Ambrose Seth Rollins did steal the match, steal the night. I'm just now thinking of this. 
I think that was the best match of the night. And I'm going to say that was your your dream match of the evening. Um, so the dream match of the evening goes to uh, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Sheamus and uh, Cesaro. And uh, we'll have to see where the people show up this week in the Power Rankings Top 10, which will be released this evening, or tonight, early tomorrow morning. So just remember that. And uh, thank you all for joining me today. This has been the uh, No Mercy This has been your No Mercy review. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, my brain's not working correctly. So, we'll catch you. We'll catch you next time. Just remember, be nice to your fellow neighbors and uh, dream on, dream out.